Hey, Ben Baxter here in the Angler's All Tying Studio again. Today we're going to tie up the Tax Crystal Corona Mid for you. All right, so we're starting with uh, TMCO 200R, size 14, and UTC 70 in black. Let's get our thread started on this particular pattern. The thread is only used for the head of the fly. The rest is going to be midge tubing and clear. And easiest way to get this started again is a pinch wrap because that tubing will really want to roll on you. Sure you get that tied in real nice and we're going to take the tubing pulling pretty steady on this you could use your rotary function for this absolutely just doing it the traditional way for those of you that don't have a rotary function on your vise. Gonna have to pull pretty tight to make that wrap back over. Again, that's a lot of the reason why we're pulling pretty tight on this is because we're doubling this up. We'll go over this with glue at the, at the end of the fly. Again, just want to make sure that you're pulling really taut on that. And same with you when you get up here. See, I'm pulling tight and then doing a wrap. That way it doesn't bulk up my head too much. And then when I'm trimming this out, I'm pulling pretty tight. I'm pushing on the hook with this finger and pulling tight. Helps minimize a, a random bump here and there when you're creating the taper for this head. Next, I'm using some red and blue holographic flash of blue. A little bit of accent to this fly. I'm getting it in place and then pushing on the material. To tie it in, I want to keep that blue up top. And I've got a single strand of red again pushing that material on just helps keep it from rolling on you especially with synthetics or something that's flimsy like this flashaboo I've got about four strands or so of this blue flash blue up top. We're just going to pull that forward. I 
What I like doing here, instead of tying in all the other pieces while the head is still kind of thin, I'm actually gonna trim these this blue out now. Just kind of helps minimize the tag, just gets your scissors a little bit closer. So you don't have a big long tag sitting out over the eye of the hook there. And pull my red, it's kind of gill for you on this fly. Same thing before I make too many more wraps, I'm gonna go ahead and Trim these out so I can get as close to the hook as I can so I don't have big long tags sticking out. Really helps having fine tipped scissors too. And lastly, I'm using some white Antron the gills on this fly. Go ahead and spin my thread a little bit. Do crossing wraps. That way you're kind of creating a T with that there. Antron back so we can do a whip finish here. Pull our thread tied and trim that out. Instead of trimming these, you could absolutely do that. What I'm gonna do is take a hackle plier. Uh, keep slipping on me. I'm gonna pinch these. Kinda keep them out of the way for this last step. I'm using some thick Loon UV glue. Get it on there to start with. And we'll use our bodkin to get it covered on the entire fly here. Give it a good look if you have a rotary. It's definitely an advantage on this particular kind of fly. So you can rotate it around, make sure you got good coverage. Looks pretty good to me. Just hit her with the light. Cure that glue up. that Antron. I'm 
want to trim this pretty close. You don't need that super long. Here's your little gill flare. And that's the Tax Crystal Coronamid. Thanks for watching. Check us out on YouTube, Instagram, like, subscribe, click that notification button and keep an eye out for more videos.